Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be creating a form that allows us to send an SMS message via PHP um, through a gateway to a mobile phone or a cell phone. Um, to do this, we're going to first need to register um, with a gateway that allows us to send uh, text messages. Now, what I mean by this is something like this website here. It's called textlocal.co.uk with text spelled txt. Now, if you go ahead to textlocal.co.uk, um, what you want to do is you want to click sign up for free. Uh, follow the registration um, process, sign up, and once you are registered, you'll be presented with a control panel such as this. Now, you get 10 free credits, which means you're gonna be able to send 10 free text messages. Um, after that you will have to buy credits um, but they are relatively cheap and you don't necessarily have to use this um, gateway you can choose to register with another gateway um, that could allow you to send more free text messages or might be a bit cheaper but I've choose to use text local because it's um, really good value for money um, and I just found it easier to register um, I'm in no way affiliated with them I just found this one and it was easy to use. Um, okay, so I've got six credits left. Um, I've already used four of them in the testing process before this tutorial. Um, you can see that you can just automatically click send messages. You're allowed to send a message directly from the website, but we're going to be using the API that allows us to send it via PHP. Now, to find out these settings, you need to simply go to documentation. Um, and what you'll be um, provided with is a list of variables that you'll need to send um, from this page here so after this you'll need to send all these post variables um, you can use get variables but I'm going to be using post you're going to need to add them afterwards now we're going to do, be doing this inside PHP using curl and the reason we're using curl is it's a lot more secure than just uh, submitting a form with these variables in which we could well do but obviously then people are going to find out our password um, and username things like that so um, this is what the form is going to look like in the first part of the tutorial we're going to be simply creating the form we're not going to be doing any of the uh, programming behind um, in PHP so we're just going to be creating this form so we know what we're doing so hopefully so far you understand um, how this is going to work um, obviously if you don't just keep following the tutorial and you should get the hang of it so if I go over to my page here, I've just created a page called sms.php. Now you might notice that I'm running this on um, my paid web hosting. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because curl is currently installed. I don't currently have curl installed on my local host um, on the software that I'm running um, on my computer. So um, either download a package such as XAMP that, uh, that has curl with it or um, run it from your paid hosting. Um, but that's the reason I'm running it from paid hosting. Now we're obviously going to need to create a form. So I'm just going to start out. I'm not going to worry about any other tags or anything like that. The form action is going to be itself because we're going to submit back to this form and deal with the uh, the results in PHP. Sorry, inside our PHP tags. So the method here is going to be post. And the first thing we want it to say, let's just save this quickly. Come back to there. And let's refresh this. Okay, so we've got a blank um, page at the moment. Okay, so inside here we're going to need the number. So we'll say number, we'll break down. Um, the first thing we need is the area code of the mobile phone. Um, in the UK that's 44. So um, I'm going to put an input type in here. And the type is text, the size is 2. And I'm going to put a dash between that. Um, for the rest of the phone number. The name of this is going to be called number ext for the extension. Um, I'm going to create another input field and that's going to be um, text again and the name of this is number and that's just going to be regular size so I'm not going to alter the size of that. So I'm going to come down here and do two breaks. Um, let's just save the changes see what we've come up with and then we can get on with the rest of this form. Let's cancel that. Okay, so yeah, we've got number and we've got the extension and the main part of the number there. Um, we broke down and I'm going to say um, sender. 
and this is going to be the text that's displayed when the uh, user receives the message. So input type equals, again text, and the name of this is just from. Let's break down a bit more. Now we need the message, spelled correctly. And this is going to be a text area. So it's just basic uh, HTML. And the name of this is message. Okay, now we need to come down here and we need to put in a uh, submit button. Um, the name of that is just submit. And the value is going to be send. Now we need a hidden uh, field that we can use to check if the form has been submitted. Um, so input type equals hidden. Name equals submitted. And value equals true. So if we save that and refresh that. Yeah, again, we're coming up with this message. Refresh that. We see we've got, um, oh, just need to break down there a bit. So after this, break down. Okay, so you can see that we've got the number. We can type 44 here, that's for the UK. We can type the number that we want to send the message to here. The sender can be something like PHP Academy, and the message can be whatever you want, uh, as long as it falls in um, the guidelines of text messages. Um, I think there's probably a maximum length that you can send. But obviously, you can put the form validation in afterwards. Um, obviously, this is a text field, but you're going to need to check that it's numeric. Um, I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial, but um, using my other tutorials, you should learn how to do that or you can use the PHP manual Google for it something like that okay so we've got our basic form um, on clicking send this obviously will send the text message at the moment all it's done is resubmitted the information back to this um, sms.php page what we need to do in the next part of this tutorial is we need to create um, some code in this PHP area that's going to take use of the API's um, of txt local um, using txt local we're going to um, sort of um, submit the variable the variables that we need that I showed you just here um, these ones just here uh, it's like the message things like that we're going to submit them to this page here um, we need to use our account information to do that um, obviously the username um, and the password um, and then that will allow us to send a message through txt local um, via PHP. So that will come in the next part of this tutorial um, when we learn how to complete this.